Hello YouTube, so today I wanted to read some uh, Japanese comments about the announcement of the removal of the digital version and the DLCs for Shin Megami Tensei 5 on the eShop. Atlas announced on their official X account and linking their announcement to the official website for Atlas. So here it says, uh, thank you so much for always enjoying Shin Megami Tensei 5. Um, we decided to discontinue the main game along with all the DLCs for the digital version of Shin Megami Tensei 5 for the Nintendo Switch that was released uh, in 2021, November 11th. I said it'll be discontinued on the 13th of June, 2024. Thank you for your understanding, blah, blah, blah. And it does also announce here that you can get the new version. Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance for Switch, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series S, X, Xbox One, Windows Steam on June 14. So one day after they discontinue the digital version on Switch, you can get the new version. So yeah, um, I already talked about what I thought about this news in my last video. So if you're interested in that, please check that out. And I opened some of the comments. Uh, it does have the translation option in and on chrome so i just used that um i checked that it was correct so yeah so this person says uh the way it's being sold is almost like the power-up kit that was used in nobunaga's ambitions and if they keep selling things this way that people won't be able to people won't or people will stop buying new games or new products at least they should be making it cheaper for people who bought the digital version since uh, if they make it like it was a full price again even if the game is well made people will get tired of it and they'll lose credibility so yeah i think it makes sense although i don't know what this is i think i read about it a long time ago but i guess it was a dirty practice <laughs> anyways uh next one uh if they do the same thing with a uh, metaphor uh, refantasio i think the name is i'm sorry i don't i'm not sure um i'd be completely disappointed or i'd be yeah completely disappointed i'll it's like i'll stop uh supporting atlas basically and i have a feeling they will do that <laughs> anyways so this person says this reminds me of uh when the playstation 3 era had lots of games that would uh, release complete versions of the game after the original game released so this person is basically saying that they feel disappointed or defeated um, because they just bought the game on sale on New Year's and then they just announced like the super complete version and then now they're going to stop uh, supporting the digital version. This person says, this is why I think about buying new games and I end up waiting for a complete version. Yep, that's my, my feeling too. And then this person commented below the last comment that uh, they agree with the last comment. They don't know what Atlas is like internally, but either they don't know how to like deal with additional DLCs due to their lack of like, you know, people working on it. But it feels like they can't do what other people, other companies can do. And they're relying on their fan base trying to make money from it. And it feels dishonest. So yeah, now uh, that's the comments. I didn't find any like positive comments, but I feel like it's not a type of news that would generate positive replies. You know, it's like, like who is going to come... I think that it would be weird to see someone saying, oh, how good that they're discontinuing this game because the new game is coming out. So I don't expect positive comments at, comments at all. So let's see what happens when the game actually releases and if it's good or not. I mean, it, I don't think it's going to be bad because the original game is not like terrible and they made it better. So it has to be better than the original, obviously. But let's see what kind of reviews it gets when it actually releases. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.